Hello boys and girls. Good morning. Welcome to today's lesson. This is teacher Esther. Welcome to today's lesson. But before we begin our lesson, let's pray. Put your hands together, close your eyes, bow down your head. Dear Lord, we thank you for this wonderful day. May you be with us and guide us through this lesson. Amen. Yesterday, we learned about God's creation. And I promise that today, we're going to do an activity on God's creation. How many days did God create the world? Can you remind me? I can't hear you children. Seven days. So we're going to have an activity of each day. But before we start our activity, can we sing one song about creation? He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hearts. He's got the whole world in his hearts. He got the whole world in his hands. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, you are wonderful. You are excellent. You are marvelous. We worship you, Lord, because you're wonderful. And you make us sing a song. And you made us sing a song. On day one, God separated the light from the darkness. Day two, God made the sky. Day two, God made the sky. Day three, God separated the land from the waters and created flowers, grass, and trees. Day four, God made the sun, moon, and stars. Day four, God made the sun, moon, and stars. On day five, the birds and fish were created. On day five, the birds and fish were created. On day six, God made animals and then he made people to be like him. He named the man Adam and Adam named his wife Eve. After six days, the whole universe was complete. God rested on day seven. God rested on day seven. He didn't do any work. It was his day to rest. God wants us to rest on the seventh day. We do work for six days, but on the seventh day we go to church and we rest. That's the end of our activity. Bye bye children.